Hello. Perhaps because of being raised on a farm, the celebration of Thanksgiving has always been a very fall-focused event for me. I mean, our livelihood was derived from the fields, and so as we gathered the produce from those fields, it was absolutely natural to want to return thanks. My father would bring the very best of the crop in to help to decorate the church. It was a huge celebration. But for half of my life now, I have not lived in a rural setting. And many years I found the celebration of Thanksgiving to be rather difficult to wrap my head around when divorced from the fields. I had to retrain my brain to see that Thanksgiving is not a day we mark on the calendar, although we do have a day to draw it into focus, but rather Thanksgiving is an attitude of the mind that needs to be present in every day of the year. Some years ago, just around the time that my sister and brother-in-law adopted my niece and nephew, I found myself walking on the trail around their property with the two children in tow. At first, I was becoming rather frustrated because they were really slowing down my usual rate of passing through the woods. It seemed that they were stopping at every little thing. Uncle Don, look at this bug. Uncle Don, look at this rock. Suddenly, I realized as I walked that walk with them that I was being given a special opportunity to see the world again for the first time. Through the eyes of those two small children, I was getting the opportunity to look at things as if for the first time. And so that walk around Oars Lake that I had done so many times, once again, became a walk of wonder. It became a magical trip. That was a real God moment for me, to be allowed to see things that had maybe become a little bit underappreciated and to realize the wonder and the beauty that surrounds me in the every day. And so as we come to that one day that we set aside in the year to give thanks for all the goodness that's in our lives, my prayer for all of you is that, first of all, you might be given the chance to see the world again for the very first time. I pray that every one of us will see the, and understand some of the blessings that fill our lives all the time. And I pray that we might come to Thanksgiving with that attitude of Thanksgiving that will propel us to give thanks on all the other 364 days of the year. As I close this off, I'm not going to say, may God richly bless you all. Because I think if we truly stop and take stock this Thanksgiving, we'll realize God already has.